this is in continuity with the previous video where uh, in the last video we studied about uh, the various uh, ways by which a slope of line can be obtained and in this case or this video we will be doing the various forms of equations of a line. Now we will start with the first one the horizontal and vertical lines. This is horizontal lines means a line which is parallel to x axis and the vertical line here means a line which is parallel to y axis. So if you see the general equation of a straight line which is parallel to x axis is y is equal to y is equal to some constant like say could be a and uh, say for example if I draw a line assume if I draw a line here let's say this I have drawn a line and say it is uh, passing through a point say x axis whose coordinate is say for example parallel to x axis and it is say for example it is 2 0 right this 2 0 then the equation of line this will be represented by y is equal to 2 right similarly for a, a horizontal line a line which is uh, parallel to y axis the general equation of this line is equal to x is equal to b this is the general equation so we have one such question based on uh, this Taking an example based on this question, example number four, it says find the equation of a line parallel to the axis that is x and y axis and passing through these two points. So what we can do, we can uh, say draw a Cartesian plane, a rough sketch, and then we have to locate up uh, the equation of a line which is passing through minus two, three. So x being minus two, we say this is minus one, this is minus two, and this is minus two and y is three. So that is say one, two, three, so this is somewhere. Now we have to find the equation of a line which is parallel to x and y axis. That means let's say the first line is the, is the horizontal line. So it is uh, parallel to x axis and the other I am drawing a line which is parallel to y axis. Now we have to find the equation of these lines. Say this is passing through this. I'm taking this point as minus two, three. Now in order to find the equation of this line say this one which is parallel to x axis it should be equal to y is equal to some constant and here y coordinate as you can see here y coordinate is 3 so y is equal to 3 similarly for this line which is parallel to x axis oh, sorry parallel to y axis it will be x is equal to its x coordinate that is minus 2 this is how we'll find the equation of a line which is parallel to x and y axis Next, we will find the equation of a line. How to find the equation of a line passing through two fixed point, which are uh, has to be a non-vertical line. So for that, we have this formula. That is, in that case, we call this as a point slope form where we know, like the first one we are doing is different, sorry. The first one is when we know the slope of a line, when we know the slope of a line and one point through which the line is passing so i repeat we are going to form the equation of a line where we know the slope of a line let's say for example assume this line when extended it is meeting x-axis and let's this be the theta that is the angle of inclination now uh, assume it is passing through a point whose uh, coordinate is given as x naught y naught so how to find the equation of such a line so for that we have a general equation that is y minus y naught is equal to m x minus x naught now in this case we can calculate the slopes assume m be the slope of this line so we can obtain the equation of a line by replacing y naught with its value y minus y naught and then whatever m comes here that is the slope of the line so this is this formula we applies when we know one point and the slope of a line so you can see one question is based on this Let's say in example number five, he says, find the equation of a line passing through point minus two, three with slope as minus four. So as I said, we, since we know one point and a slope, therefore we'll be using this point slope form. So what we'll do here, we'll first I'm writing the formula that is y minus y naught is equal to m x minus x naught. Clearly, y is the general point so y and x will be as it is and as you can see here the coordinate of this point is minus 2 
3. That means y naught is 3 is equal to m. m is replaced by minus 4. x minus x naught x minus of minus 2 is plus 2. So finally, it is y minus 3 is equal to minus 4x minus 8. Now, writing in the standard form, it should be 4x plus y. Bringing minus 8 to the left, it will give you plus 5 equal to 0. We have one more question based on this. One more question based on the same formula. It says the perpendicular from the origin to the line meet a point minus 2, 9. And we have to find the equation of the line. So for that, what we can do, we can draw a Cartesian plane, a rough sketch to get an idea about it. Let's say I've drawn a Cartesian plane and it says the perpendicular from the origin to the line. So let's make a line here. This is the line whose equation we have to find. And we know the perpendicular, right? The perpendicular from the origin. That means a perpendicular is drawn from the origin. Right? This may be the perpendicular. So perpendicular from the origin to the line, meet it at a point. So we know this point as minus 2, 9. And we have to find the equation of this purple line. Like this is what the equation of this line we have to find out. So as we know that we know one of the point, we know one point of this line. That means we'll be looking for the slope of this line. That is slope of this purple line here. Now what we can do here, first we will be finding the slope of this line, say OM. And as you know, the uh, coordinate of the center is 0, 0. First I'm obtaining the slope of this purple line. And using this relation, y is equal to y2 m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So m, I'm using this 2 and this being 1. So it's 9 minus 0 divided by minus 2 minus 0. So we are getting minus 9 over 2 as the slope of this line. So let's understand once again, we know uh, the point m. And uh, we are first getting the slope of OM as we can, uh, as we know, two points, one is 0, 0, another is minus 2, 9. Once we get the slope of this line, what we can say, the slope of the other line, I'm talking about this line, as they are perpendicular to each other, you must be knowing that when two lines are perpendicular, then product of their slope is minus 1, or you may say that slope of 1 is negative reciprocal of the other. So since we know the slope of OM, we can get the slope of the other line, by that I mean to say that line L, let's say this is M dash here, then I can say the slope of line M will be negative reciprocal of M dash, that means minus 2 over 9. So once we get the slope of this line, what we can do, we can find the equation of this line. So what we can do here, now I'm obtaining the equation of this line and how to get the equation of this line using the point slope form. So I'll be applying this same formula here. Let's say, this is... Uh, y minus y naught is equal to m x minus x naught. So y will be as it is. I'm replacing y with this point that is 9 is equal to m. We have obtained it was minus 2 over 9. So it's minus 2 over 9. And that multiplied by x minus x naught. Clearly x naught is minus 2. So it will become plus 2. Now with cross multiplication, we'll get 9y minus 81 is equal to minus 2x minus 4 keeping uh, writing them in the standard form this is 2x plus 9y and if you add this we're getting how much adding this will get 77 equal to 0 so this is how the equation of this line is obtained for the question number 14 now after that we'll move to the next uh, formula for obtaining the equation of a line in the next part, what we are going to do is to find the equation of a line passing through two different points. Let's say this is a point one and the other point, and this is the general point on a line. So how to obtain the equation of a line when we know the coordinates of the two points through which the line is passing. So once again, the equation of a line passing through two points, say x1, y1 and x2, y2 is given by this formula. That is y minus y0 is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 and that multiplied by x minus 1. So let's take one example based on this.
So in example number six, which is based on this formula, we have to write the equation of a line passing through these two points. And uh, we are going to use this formula for finding the equation of this line. So what we'll do here, we know x2, y2. So this is, I'm writing uh, y minus y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 and that multiplied by x minus x1. So we'll be replacing these values as y will be y minus y1. I'm taking this as one, for example, and this as two. There's no restriction of taking one and two. So this is y minus minus one will be y plus one. And this side y2 minus y1, that means y2 being this five, right? And y1 being this only. So it will be five minus minus one, that is five plus one, and that is three minus one, that multiplied by x minus one and x1 is, x1 is one here. So finally on simplifying, we'll get y plus one, that multiplied by six over two into x minus one. We can further simplify it as uh, y plus one is equal to three x minus three, so finally it is three X minus Y minus four equal to zero. And therefore this should be the equation of a line passing through these two points. A very simple question. We'll continue to do more question. One more question based on the same concept that is a two point form where we know that two point through which the line is passing. So let's say uh, in the next question, question number eight, it says that the vertices of a triangle PQR are given here. And we have to find the equation of the median through the vertex R. So what we can do, first thing that we need to do is to make a triangle. Let's say I made a triangle here and uh, it can be any triangle. So I've taken this triangle as P, Q, R, writing its coordinate, P is mentioned as two, one, Q is, this is Q here, is minus two, three, and uh, R being four, five. Now, what we are asked to find the equation of the median through the vertex, R. So if I take R as the vertex and through this, if I draw a median, as you must be knowing that median is a line that drawn from a, a that's joining the midpoint of a side to its opposite vertex. Say, for example, if I name this as say S, that means PS is equal to QS, right? Because S being the midpoint, as you know, it's a median. And we have to obtain the equation of this line. We have to obtain this equation of this line that is which is a median in context of this triangle. So what I'm going to do first, I'm obtaining the equation of, sorry, uh, coordinate of S. As you know, S is the midpoint of PQ. So we will be applying the section formula for midpoint and we'll obtain the coordinate of Q. So this is X, uh, you must be knowing that this midpoint is obtained as X1 plus X2 that divided by two and similarly Y1 plus Y2 divided by two. Now applying this formula, it is x1 plus x2, right? So this is two minus two is zero. That divided by two is zero. And similarly, it's one plus three. One plus three is four. Four divided by two is two. So we got the coordinate of this point. That is S in this case. We got the coordinate of this point S using this formula. Now what next, we have to find the equation of this line. As I've already discussed, we have to obtain the equation of this line. And here we are going to use this two point form. That means since we know two points, one is, one is this, another is this. So we can obtain the equation of a line. Now I'm replacing this with a formula. This is y minus y naught. Say this is y naught, y minus, sorry, y minus y, y1. I've taken this as one. is equal to y2 minus y1, y2, that is, five minus two over x2 minus x1, that is four minus zero, which is four, and that multiplied by x minus x1, that is x minus zero in this case. So it is y minus two is equal to five minus two is three, three over four, and x minus zero is x only. So we can write simply as x. Now with cross multiplication, we'll get four y minus eight, is equal to 3x. Now simplifying it further, we can write 3x minus 4y plus 8 is equal to 0. And that should be the required equation of this line.
So this is how this question can be done. You can do more questions based on same formula. One more question based on the same formula. That is question number nine of textbook. It says that find the equation of a line passing through this point and is perpendicular to another line passing through this line. So let's make two perpendicular lines. Let's say I am making one a line like this and say the other one, let's say, let's say this one. So assume we have to find the equation of this blue line who's which is passing through a point which is given as minus three five and this line is perpendicular this line is perpendicular to another line say this uh, the black line here which is passing through two points let's say it says two five as per the question and minus three six it's only perpendicular not perpendicular bisector right it's just making an angle of 90 degree so what we can see here that since we know one point through which this line is passing, uh, we, we are looking for this slope. So what we will do first, we will obtain the slope of this line AB, right? First, we'll obtain the slope of this line AB. And as you know, this the other line that is uh, the blue line in this case, we, we uh, they are perpendicular. So we can obtain the slope of the other line also. So let's uh, begin with first, we will find the slope of this line AB slope here I'm talking about a b and it is y2 minus y1 uh, that is 6 minus 5 over x2 minus x1 that is minus 3 minus 2 so it is 6 minus 5 is 1 and this is minus 5 now you know that the slope of the other line let's say for example this line l uh, will be negative reciprocal of the other that means negative reciprocal of this is 5 as you must be knowing that when two lines are parallel, then their product, say M1 into A, sorry, perpendicular. In that case, the slope of one line is negative reciprocal of the other line. So once we have obtained this slope of this line, now we can obtain the equation. And what you know here, that the equation of a line in a point slope form or one point form, one point one slope, it is Y minus Y naught is equal to M X minus X naught. Now let's say what we can do here, y is y here and y naught, y naught is 5 in this case, is equal to m, we have obtained here as 5 and that is x minus minus 3, that is x plus 3. So y minus 5 is equal to 5x plus 15. Now we can rearrange them in the standard form, this is 5x minus y plus 20 equal to 0. So that will be the answer for this. Textbook question number nine. Now in question number 10 from textbook, it says a line perpendicular to the line segment joining these two points at uh, joining the points, uh, sorry, joining the points one, zero and two, three divides the, divides it in the ratio of one is two n and we have to form the equation of this line. So what we can do, let's say, for example, perpendicular to this line. So we can make two lines here. Let's say, uh, first, I'm going making a line segment. Let's say this is a line segment, right? And this line segment is obtained by joining two points. Say first is one, zero, and the second, say B, which is two, three. And now we have to make a line. Let's say I made a line. Just a second. I made a line. This one is the line I've made. We have to find the equation of this line and it is divides these two lines in the ratio one is to n. This is one and this is n. Let's say this point B, uh, P, all right? Now what we will do here, we will be first finding the slope of this line AB using two point form. And then using section formula, we'll be obtaining the coordinates of point P in terms of n, obviously. Once we have one point and the slope, we can find the equation of the required line. So let's do, first I'm obtaining, using section formula, I'm obtaining the coordinates of point P. So it's going to be P, X, Y, say, is equal to M1, X2, plus M2, X1, that is 
over m over m1 plus m2 or say 1 plus n similarly its y coordinate can be obtained that is m1 y2 which is 3 in this case m1 y2 is 3 plus m2 y1 is 0 and then m1 plus m2 so once we obtain the coordinates of point p as you can see we have obtained the coordinates of point p it is n plus 2 over n plus 1 and this is 3 over n plus 1 once we obtain the coordinate of this now what we are going to do next is to obtain the equation sorry slope of this line now i'm obtaining the slope of ab here the slope ab using two point form we will be obtaining the slope of that is y2 minus y1 which is 3 minus 0 over x2 minus x1 that is 2 minus 1. Right. So we what we'll get here that is 3 over 2. Now as you know that the two lines when they are perpendicular the slope of one line the slope of one line is negative reciprocal of the other. So using this relation, I can say that, say, let's this be the required line. I can say slope, say, for example, slope I'm taking as M will be negative reciprocal of this, that is minus two over three. Now, once we have obtained the slope, as you can see, we now know the slope of this line. And we also know the point through which this line is passing. So we can obtain this equation of this line. So what we can do, we'll write y minus y naught, say this being y naught, that is three over n plus one. And then m, which is this minus two over three, x minus x naught, and x naught is, I need a grip, make more space. So what we can do, can do somewhere else. Let's say I'm doing here. This is y minus y naught. This is y naught. That is 3 over n plus 1 is equal to m is here. That is minus 2 over 3 and x minus x naught. x minus x plus 2 over. I'm oh, sorry, this is n. Huh? This is n plus 2 over n plus 1. So further, we will simplify it. And this will give you n plus 1 times of y minus 3 over n plus 1 and this way you'll get minus 2 over 3 that is n plus 1 times of x minus n minus 2 over n plus 1 clearly n plus 1 n plus 1 get cancelled so our final equation will be this that is when multiplied with 3 this is 3 times n plus 1 y minus 9 is equal to minus 2 times n plus 1 x minus plus 2 x plus 4. That will be the equation of this line. Now in the next part, we are going to do the equation of a line of this slope intercept form. Slope intercept form means when we know slope, or, and one of the intercept. For that, let's say, for example, assume there be a line L, which cuts the y-axis. Uh, this is cutting the y-axis. As you can see here, this line is cutting y-axis at uh, zero C. In that case, the equation of this line will be given by this formula called y is equal to mx plus C, where m is the slope of the line and L is the y-intercept. So let's say, and the second one is say, for example, equation of a line when we know the x intercepts, let's say, for example, I'm making a Cartesian plane, say I made a Cartesian plane and say, we know the x intercept, for example, we know, say only the x intercepts, all right. In that case, for example, if you know this as the x intercepts as D, so we have another formula for this slope of a line in intercept form. So it is y is equal to mx minus t. Let's say uh, we are doing some questions based on these two to bring more clarity on this formula. 
we are doing example seven. It says write the equation of a line or the lines here can be more than one where tan theta is equal to half. That is theta is the angle of inclination and number one y intercept is minus three by two. Now let's uh, we will be applying this as we can see we know as for the question what are the things we know we know in this question as uh, we know what is c right as as i told you c is the y intercept here so c is y intercept which is given minus 3 by 2 which is given as minus 3 by 2 so we know the uh, that's a uh, c here that is y intercept further we need a slope as you can as you must be knowing that the slope of a line is given by the formula tan theta where theta is the angle of inclination clearly when you read the question is given here the tan theta is given to you how much an entity is that is half so i can write m as half so it's very simple now it is uh, y is equal to mx plus c replacing m with half and uh, x being x only and c with minus 3 over 2 by taking lcm it will become 2y is equal to x minus 3 further we can write x minus 2y minus 3 is equal to 0. Now there is a second part also we have to uh, find the equation of the same line right uh, or could be a set of lines when it makes x intercept as 4 for that we are going to use this formula well, as you can see, the slope remains the same here. So you'll be writing m as same in this case also, m as which was positive half and the x-intercept, which I told you denoted by d, which is given positive four. So replacing this, first I'll write down the formula y is equal to mx minus d, replacing y with, the, with its, uh, y will be as it is because it is general term here i mean the general equation uh, m m is what m is we have got this as half and x minus d and that is x minus half so y is equal to this will uh, give you x over 2 minus 1 over 4 or you may simplify it and write this as 4y is equal to 2x minus 1 so this is 2x minus 4y minus 1 equal to 0. So we got uh, this being the equation for the second answer and this for the first answer. More questions based on this concept. In question number 5, it says uh, intersecting x-axis at a distance of 3 units to the left of the origin. Right. So it means, let's say we have to find the equation of a line intersecting the x-axis. Right. Say this is x-axis. So this is minus one and uh, yeah, that's minus two and minus three. Why I'm drawing like this? Because it is intersecting x-axis at a distance of three units to the left of the origin, as you know, left of the origin is negative. So we'll have to find the equation of a line passing through this point, right? So clearly the coordinate of this point, this point is going to be minus three zero where the X intercept, X intercept, as I said, is denoted by D. So D is minus three here. And they have also mentioned the slope here. So M is equal to minus two. We'll be using this formula Y is equal to M X minus T. So replacing uh, M with minus two and D with minus three, it will become minus and minus plus. That will give you minus two X minus six. This will give you two X plus y plus six equal to zero. And that is how this question can be done. Now we'll do the next, that is, uh, or the final type, which is intercept form. And uh, more questions are there based on this concept. So let's see <clears throat> how to do this question. First of all, you should understand the intercept form. That means to find the equation of a line when we know it's x intercepts as well as when we know it's y intercept. So let's say it's x intercept be A and the y intercept be B, then the general formula or the equation for this is x over A. Sorry, this is x over A. Let me write it properly. This is x over A plus y over B is equal to 1. Right. 
So this is the general formula. Let's find out some questions based on this. We can do the first question here. It says, find the equation of a line which makes an intercept minus three and two on the X and Y uh, intercept respectively. Very easy. As you can see, X intercept is denoted by A. So A is minus three and the Y intercept, which is denoted by B, which I can see here, it is two. So clearly we'll be applying this formula that is X over A plus Y over B is equal to one. Replacing A, which is minus three in this case and Y, uh, sorry, B with two is equal to one by taking LCM, we'll get two X minus three Y is equal to minus six. I've taken an LCM here and transpose this on the other side. So what we get here, by a second, instead we should do like this. Let's keep minus in the numerator to avoid any confusion. The LCM is six. This is minus two X plus three Y is equal to one. Later I can write as minus two X plus three Y is equal to six or minus two X plus three Y minus six equal to zero. This is what uh, this example eight can be done. In example number, sorry, question number 11, it says, find the equation of a line that cuts equal intercepts on the coordinate axis and passes through this point, two, three. So here, what we get to know that here, the X and Y intercepts are equal. That means here A and B are equal given, right? So A is equal to B in this case, and it is passing through a point. Let's say this point is two comma three. Now, what will we do? We'll be applying this intercept form. So what I'm writing here, I'm writing X over A first, the general one, and Y over B is equal to one. As you know that uh, I can replace this X with two and Y as three as you can see that two, three lies on this point. So replacing X with two, all right? And uh, this is A. Replacing Y with three and B. As you can see, A and B are equal, which I mentioned in the beginning only. We can write A as B or B as A. Over here, I'm writing B as A. Now I'll take LCM. We'll say it is 2A plus 3A is equal to 1. This is uh, 2A plus 3A is equal to 1. That means 5A is equal to 1. Or I can say A is equal to 1 over 5. Once we get the value of A, once again, we can apply this formula. This time, taking X and Y as the general point. So what we'll do here, let's say this is X over A, A is replaced with one over five plus Y over B, B and A are equal as you know. So I can replace this also with one over five is equal to one. Now this is X plus Y on transposing and taking L symbol with this. Finally, we can simplify it as five X plus five Y is equal to one. So that will be the answer for the question number 11. Continuing with the next question based on intercept form. Right. This is now it says question number 17. It says P A comma B is the midpoint of a line segment between the axes. That means P is say this point as P. So P whose coordinate is A B, and that is the midpoint of the line joining, say line joining these two. So that the equation of this line is, so we have to show that the equation of the line is X over A plus Y over B is equal to two. Now what we are going to do here, we will take this point. We can not take A as A is already the variable introduced in the question. We can take this as C comma zero. As we know, any point on the Y axis is in the form of zero comma B, but we'll not take B. Let's say I take uh, D here. As I told you, we cannot take uh, it's better if you take H and K, let's say. I'm changing this. I'm writing this point as H comma zero, and this is zero comma K. Now, if I say what is the general equations, then uh, it should be X over A plus, well, you may get confused. So let's say what I can say here, X over X intercept, which is N in H in this case, plus, y over b which is k uh, that is y intercept in this case is equal to one 
Now we do not know the value of H and K and these are the arbitrary constant introduced by us in the question. So we should replace this with A and B. So for that, I'm going to apply the section formula and the section formula, as you know, the A here, that is the X coordinate of this is equal to X1, right? It is X1 plus X2 over two. So that is H plus zero that divided by two. So clearly two A is equal to H. Now, similarly, for y coordinate, what we can see y coordinate that is b here, right, will be y1 plus y2 over 2, that is k plus h, k plus 0 or 0 plus k over 2. So clearly, 2b is equal to k. So once we get these values, what we can do, we can replace this in this equation here. I'm going to replace these values in the equation here in this equation. So we'll write uh, x as x only, replacing h with 2a and uh, y as y, replacing k with 2b is equal to 1. And if I take two 